Jin Dobri, today guys I'm going to be telling you about seven of the things that I was not used to before coming over to Poland. Let's get started. Alright, so number one on this list is the size of the containers. I was not used to something like getting milk, which is like you only can get really a liter. You can't get much over that, can you? No, no, yeah. it's usually one liter of milk or if it's soda. You can get sizes of like 1.5 liter or two maybe and people here are really only getting two like I, I don't even know if i've seen one liter here in the state actually i have but it's just super uncommon to get that so definitely the sizes of the containers um and also lots of the containers of like juice or milk are basically cardboard so it's something that's uh different than ours Honestly, I think I like those a little more because when you open the lid, it actually cracks the seal itself, right? Yeah. It yeah. Does. And ours, you have to basically get your finger on there and stuff. So that's just one thing I was not used to before coming over to Poland. Okay, number two on this list. And this is something that I experienced the first time I was in Poland. And when I was in Warsaw on probably like my second day there, I remember trying to go into restaurants because I didn't believe her that you just can't go to a bathroom anywhere and i ended up going into a restaurant and they were so confused by me like they had you had to pay to get in do you remember that yeah it I was mean, that japanese restaurant i tried to get in in more yeah yeah so for i mean for the most part you have to be the client in order to mm -hmm. get to use the bathroom in a certain place i mean um if you're not then you have to pay unless you're going to like orlin or you know like a mall or something like that but most of the time like if you're in the old town or something like that, you're just gonna have to pay to go in somewhere and just go to a restaurant and then go to the bathroom, which is something that I was definitely not used to. I mean, here you can honestly just walk into any restaurant, go to the bathroom if you wanted and just leave. Like, it's not really a big deal. Some places have signs like you have to pay, but um, most of those places are like foreign owned. But yeah, it was just something I wasn't used to. I mean, it's great, honestly, that in the US you have such a freedom to mm -hmm go to certain places and you don't have to worry about like coins and paying anyone yeah i think of those like they're basically like fancy porta potties and usually the middle of like a park and you have to like pay your coins and you have to pay the amount of time that you're gonna go to the bathroom so it's just it's like it happened in gdansk i think yeah there was this public toilet and you had to pay additional money for every next minute <laughs> yeah you had to like basically pay per second that you're in there so Okay, so number three on this list, and every Polish person is probably going to hate me for this, and really everyone is going to hate me for this if you're not in the States, because taking off your shoes is something I was not used to really before coming to Poland. Now, this is kind of tricky because there's lots of homes in the U.S. that I've been to where you do take off your shoes, but there's also lots of homes where you don't take off your shoes at all, mine included, um, everywhere I've lived in the States. He sleeps in his shoes. I don't sleep in my shoes. Um, no, I don't. But yeah, it's just something that I was actually not used to. So just something as simple as taking off my shoes. I, I know, I know I'm going to get so much hate for this and stuff. And people are going to be saying, oh, you know, it's so gross and all that. But I don't know. It's just something I wasn't used to. But that's changing with you because I, I think you, you are not wearing flip-flops before. No, I like wearing flip flops and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so Poland sort of changed your mindset. Yeah. In respect, I think. Where did we get these? Uh, Auchan. Auchan. That's like the French store. Right? The French yeah, store. Yeah. yeah. There's different pronunciations for that. I heard people pronounce that as Auchan, Auchawam, Auchan. So, I mean, you name it. <laughs> okay. All right, so number four on this list is Old Towns. This was something that I was definitely not used to. In Europe, you're going to find Old Towns all over the place. I think um, Krakow, though, has like the biggest one, right? Or no, one that's the, the biggest oldest, squares. One of the oldest ones, too, I think. Oh, and squares? Biggest squares or something, Yeah, too? biggest square in Europe, I think. Yeah, so, I mean, where I'm getting with this is that, you know, in the States, there's stuff that's like 1800s and 1700s, I guess. But it's not really old. I mean, comparing to stuff like uh, old towns in Poland, where you're going to find places and pieces of history that are like from 13... 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And it's something that most Americans definitely aren't used to. And if you're a history buff, you would love to go because there's just so much to learn 
about. All right, number five on this list is actually good public transport. This was something that I haven't used before, actually. I've never used public transport at all in the States, um, besides stuff like, you know, metros in New York City and mm -hmm. things like that. It's basically non existent in the US. Yeah, it's not. And usually the public transport in the US is pretty sketchy and it's not really that safe for the most part, or it's just like really run down. And in Poland, there's just good public transport all over the place. There's buses for anywhere. You can take like a normal city bus and you can get that anywhere. I mean, anywhere, even out in the middle of nowhere, basically, you can catch a bus. I mean, we have some experience because I live in a suburbs of my city, so public transportation isn't the best there compared to whenever you go into Lublin or any other city in Poland, but mm -hmm. still, you can you can do it. In the US, I don't think I, I have ever seen a bus, honestly. I mean, if I did, probably it was so old and sketchy that, I mean, I wouldn't even consider getting on it yeah. at any time of the day. Okay, the next two on these lists are kind of weird ones, and number six being that there is really no obese people in Poland. And I was actually pretty much expecting that there was going to be just less fat people, but I wasn't expecting to never see any obese people. And I'm talking about obesity on the scale of like people having to waddle or just drive around in little vehicles in you know Walmart and things like that because um, it, it was definitely weird it was almost like a reverse culture shock actually when I came back to the States and I saw people waddling in so large that you know they couldn't even fit in their own cars or you know stuff like that I mean it's kind of cruel of me because every time we go somewhere I'm just taking my camera out and I'm taking pictures and videos of such people to show my family and friends back in Poland what we do not want to have in the future in our country and I mean yeah when you go to the States it's actually hard to find a thin skinny person yeah I mean I guess that's a number of factors you know like diet and exercise and stuff no one's walking here to me it's because you guys have plenty of fast food chains in Poland we have like a couple of them or or you can just microwave your dinner within five seconds and you have yeah, a so meal no that's home unhealthy. cooking definitely and yeah. just you know going out everywhere to like fast food places mm -hmm. which i mean they do not serve i mean any type of healthy food for sure yeah or there's like meals in you know i'm just thinking of like freezing stuff and it's like ready to cook meals but it's it, you know they even advertise sometimes as being healthy but if you look at the stats and the nutritional facts it's not even at all and most of the time it's just so much salt in there just to preserve the food it's just completely unhealthy for you so yeah and if you think about that um like when you go to a store in poland for the most part you see frozen vegetables everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean you can easily access yeah. them in Hortex, the States. Hortex, right? Yeah. Hortex. Hortex. Yeah. For example, it's one of so many brands that we have in Poland. But then mm -hmm. when you go to the American grocery store, it's impossible to find frozen vegetables. Instead, mm -hmm. you have plenty of things which are like almost ready made but they're frozen, like chicken wings or burgers or There's pizzas, even American whatever. pierogies too. I mean, by the way, <laughs> I mean, there's a spelling mistake um, on them. And pierogies and not pierogi. Yeah. Pierogi, yes. That's how they pronounce yeah. uh, pierogies, dumplings in, in, in it's English. It's just the American here. spelling, I guess. Yeah, but then again, seeing all the frozen food, which is like pre prepared, mm -hmm. as I just say that. Pro yeah, and just processed. Processed food, which, I mean, when you look at that, you lose your appetite instantly. Yeah. Trust me. I mean, me being a Polish person, I don't know if I would ever trust any products yeah. of, of you know whatever i saw in the fridges in in the american grocery yeah. stores it's i mean i think most of you guys don't do microwaves either i mean that was something that you know you can get them for like ten dollars here in the states and i didn't even see really any in poland and i think the ones i did see in poland were actually kind of expensive i mean there was a hype for microwaves back in the day maybe oh. it's popular among students uh mm -hmm. whenever they you know bring food back from their parents if they study in another city mm -hmm. But when it comes to normal, regular families, an average mm. family in Poland, I don't think 
uh, we use microwaves. It was the case long years ago. Now everyone That's is something like, I wasn't used to. Yeah, so now um, <laughs> it's kind of kind of different. We prefer to just, you know, have a freshly prepared meal. I mean, at least this is what my family does. Mm -hmm. All right, number seven on the list is something that I was kind of expecting, but it's something that was kind of um, not really a, a, a major shock, but it was definitely kind of, you know, weird. But this one is only seeing white people. And <laughs> don't get us wrong, we are not racist, but it definitely makes a difference yeah. when you're in Poland, mm -hmm. surrounded by white people, because mm -hmm. that's basically what you see. Okay, so when you see a person representing any other race in Poland, for the most part, these are people coming over to find a job mm -hmm. or people who are exchange students. Yeah. When you come to the States, you feel like you stick out because you're white. No offense, guys. In some areas, yeah. I mean... But I mean, here definitely cultural diversity is way broader. I would say you see mm -hmm. um, Latinos, you see black people, you see um, Asians. And I mean, it's actually interesting that all those races can still coexist in the States. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was definitely a weird thing that I was not used to. And yeah it's it's a weird one all right guys so that's actually it for the video today i just wanted to thank you for watching and if you're interested in more videos like this just check out some of mine on my channel it's really just a lot of polish american content here on youtube and yeah that's pretty much it today thank you guys for watching dziękuję i do widzenia